Sydney. This video is probably not for you and I do not recommend you watch it because it is not for the faint of heart. So I have overcome an ordeal. That may or may not have been the worst thing I have ever fucking done. And that is Inaroge, a loot game called Euphoria. I have before played some not so safe for work games, but I can tell you this game is not safe for life! <laughs> now, you may think throughout this video I'm being dramatic. Surely it can't be that bad! <laughs> You're wrong, buddy. The amount of times I needed to take a break in this game and look at myself and reevaluate myself and question how, how I got to this point in my life. How did I get here? And how did I keep pushing through a game where I felt like I never needed a shower more in my entire life? What was the point of it all? What is wrong with me? Okay, but I feel like I'm getting ahead of myself here, so let's just start from the beginning. So even though I just said let's start from the beginning, I have really no point of where to begin, so I'll just start of where I first heard of this game. I first heard of this game probably in about 2015 when it first came out. And at that time, I really liked death games like Danganronpa, you know, like the games where, oh, I'm trapped in a room and I, I might die, who's gonna die next? <laughs> and then I saw this game, and I, I'm not gonna lie, I like playing a rogue, you know, up until this point. And I liked the idea that it sounded like a death game. Like, I read the back of it, it said like, oh, seven people or whatever are trapped in a room and you have to figure out how to get out, you know, a death game. And I'm like, hey, a sexy little death game, why not? But at that time, I didn't have the money or the time to play it because I was still in university, so I held off on it for a while. The next time I got to see Euphoria was at AX 2018 when I went to the Manga Gamer booth. And they were selling it, and I'm like, hey, I remember this game, I always wanted to play it. Um, you know, I'll, I have to get it, and I'll, when I'm back home, I'm going to play this game. And I did! So when I got back home, I got it, I was downloading it, and Gart notices and asks, why the fuck are you downloading Euphoria? And I was surprised, because I've never heard anybody mention this game before. I've never heard anybody talk of this game before. And I'm like, well, what's wrong with this game? And he's like, uh, it's just a weird game, and it's kind of infamous for its content. I thought he was kind of being dramatic. I thought he was being just a little bit dramatic. Like, I don't know, oh, something stupid happens. Uh, you know, sometimes like the most stupid menial shit gets infamous for the most stupidest fucking stuff. So I was like, oh, whatever, you know, I still want to play this game. I still, you know, I've always wanted to play it. Why not just still try it? So then Gart made up the idea that even if I'm going to play it, I should make a Twitter thread. And I'm like, okay, you know, if that's a, you know, if it is interesting, at least maybe it'll be proved to be entertaining for other people. Um, I still didn't think at the time it was going to be as bad as what was being told to me. But now I regret not listening to you, Gart, okay? I regret it because now I had to play this burning fucking fire of sin. So I began the game by going to my settings first because I didn't want my parents downstairs to hear the girls moaning and disown me. And to my surprise, I see one of the options is to censor feces. And at the time I was like, okay, ew, gross. But you know, maybe it's just a little bit of shit here and there. Maybe it's something no big deal. I'm sure it's not gonna be some giant fucking shit fest, literally. And I was thinking, even if it was a shit fest, a little poop and pee over here, who cares? I don't like it, some people do, there's other games like it, it's not that dramatic. But that could be the most of it, right? That had to be. But on the contrary, it was just the beginning. So I just kept pushing the fuck along like an idiot, and I just thought the initial thought was, Oh, some guy is putting keys up girls' butts. But, uh, it wasn't nearly as innocent as that. Every girl in the game has a weird backstory besides Rika, the poor fucking baby. Then they pulled out shit. Like, the human toilet! Or the part where they make a girl 
have hooks up her nose and then they they shove it with ah! And then just what made it worse for me the most most disgusting fucking thing was when the girl when the human toilet ate the shit when she ate the fucking shit that just came out of a guy's ass and the way they described it ah uh, ah uh, uh, I literally at that time I was heaving my eyes were burning I was fucking crying there there was mascara all over my goddamn face there was puke, a little bit of puke in my mouth, of course, because the way they described it. Here, Sydney, have some chocolate ice cream. Oh, well, she ate it! And then afterwards, I don't even know why the fuck they would add sweet scenes. Like, oh, haha, oh, you got a bruise or you got a cut on your leg? Let me just tie it up for you and let's have a romantic moment. I just saw you eat my shit! This shit eating grin! So, you may think I might have stopped midway through, but I didn't. I was a fucking trooper and I finished that goddamn game. But unfortunately, I didn't go the right route. I didn't get the true ending. So that's cool, all that suffering was for nothing. But I was curious of what the true ending was because I heard it was actually really surprising. It was a good twist. So I tried again like a fucking idiot. So I tried again and I chose Nemu over and over and over again instead of any of the other girls. Why did I choose Nemu? Because fucking resting bitch face fucking automatically best goddamn girl. But still, I win her ending and it still didn't make any fucking sense. Suddenly all of them started dying. I don't know. And at this point, I'm more scarred than ever. So I decided to get my own little synopsis by watching the hentai because supposedly there was a hentai of Euphoria. And I will say, I will, I will say I preferred the hentai just because they could just skip through some of the most disturbing parts. But obviously, I had to watch some of them because I wanted to know the plot. Look at me trying to find plot in hentai. I especially love the electricity masturbation, the baby play, and one of my all-time favorites, the 2D human centipede, which yeah, it actually fucking happens. 2D human centipede. But the most shocking twist that weirdly nobody talks about is that this bitch, Renee, is the daughter of the main character. Supposedly there was some cult stuff. I'm not gonna get into it. It didn't make any fucking sense. And that route, you could go a route with her where you could have a family and you could be with her and be happy. But it's like, I'm just sitting here thinking, how is it not dwelled into more that, that their father and daughter? It's like, please just acknowledge that he's your dad. So I stuck through the whole fucking hentai because I sold my soul to finish this fucking game. But the ending still didn't make sense. It just made me even more confused. It's like, wow, who knew hentai wasn't the best form of literature? So I just read a synopsis online and I still... I still, I still don't get the ending. I still don't get it. I am dead inside of this point. I don't know if I want to keep trying to find out what, why, why did these things happen? I, I, do I want to, am I a masochist? I just went through hell and back and I can't find a fucking reason why I did it. After I finished the game, I, I held in a bunch of pee because I just wanted it over. I I couldn't take getting up because I knew if I got up, I just might not come back. I might just close the game, burn my laptop, move to a different country, and get a new name. But I didn't. So after the game, I went pee, and it was it felt like the most unclean pee of my entire life. And I am proud to say. I have finished the game, and this is my badge of bravery. <laughs> but at what cost? I don't feel euphoric. Okay, okay, so the reason why my microphone quality sucks so bad is because I'm recording with my laptop right now. If you would like to read the euphoria thread, then it is still my pinned tweet on Twitter, so read to your own discretion. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you again in my next one. Now, if you'll excuse me, I am going to go wash my eyes out until they feel clean again, which may very well be never.